Ladies and gentlemen, there are seven, I said seven acknowledged wonders of the world. You are about to witness day, the hardest working band in soul business today. Jack, Mac, and the heart attack. 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 If I were going to hire a band for my event, boy, there's so many bands out there, Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. And it's always difficult to choose which one will be right for your event, Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. And of course, if you want to be successful, hire them. You need to do certain things. Most importantly, you got to consider what type of music that you want to use, Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. I mean, you really have to consider that first class. That's very important. Well, it was Saturday night, and I was feeling all right, looking for my buttercup. In 1980, 11 of L.A.'s top musicians formed Jack Mack and the Heart Attack in a garage with the intention of playing the music they loved the most. So. Well, it was Saturday night, and I was feeling all right, looking for my buttercup. They were dancing next door on the 13th floor, so I took the elevator. In 1982, the seminal cult record Cardiac Party was released by Warner Brothers, produced by Eagle Glenn Fry. I'm here in Dusselhausen, Germany, and this is where Jack Mack and the Heart Attack recorded their second album. Between the years 1982 and 1988, they traveled the world promoting their special brand of rock and soul. In 1988, they became the house band for Fox TV's The Late Show. I couldn't stay up that late to watch. You might have seen or heard the boys on many TV shows and movies such as Police Academy, Beverly Hills Cop, Jersey Girls. Here's a scene from the cult classic, Tough Turf. Being a great competitor and knowing he's a little bit behind, Scott is going to give this number everything he's got. And when it comes to showmanship and theatrics, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that was Jack Mack music you just heard. Olympic gold medalist Scott Hamilton skating too. He's not a good man. Just after 1 a.m. Saturday morning, July 27th, with the band Jack Mack and the Heart Attack entertaining the crowd at Centennial Park, the face of the games was changed forever. You know, I love it when Jack Mack and the Heart Attack come out with a new CD. This is Arrhythmia.
I'm going to go out and take a little drive. You know what I like about this CD? I've listened to it for a little bit now. It's got a lot of good... Uh, Now, I'm here to tell you, some bands go way beyond expectations. For example, Jack Mack and the Heart Attack. I mean, you really can't compare their talent and reputation to anyone else, Beatles. I mean, that's just me. Jack Mack and the Heart Attack have been playing honest, hard driving soul music since, oh, probably about 1980. I've seen a lot of bands come and go in my time, and the fact that they're still around and hotter than ever is a real testament to their perseverance and their professionalism. I've had the pleasure of working with them on several of our own productions over the years, and I'm here to tell you that they can really turn the heat up and get everybody off their seat. Jack Mack and the Heart Attack are funky, fun, and very cool. I like their beat, and they're easy to dance to. Let's see, how can I describe them, Troublemakers? They're very dependable, no shows, and in the music industry, they are highly respected, Barry Manilow. They're just, they're very talented, overrated, and a great bunch of guys, stalkers. Uh, very experienced, I might add that, and they really get the place going, nap time. Everyone's up and dancing, you know? I guess they just put you in a great mood, PMS, and that's because they're professionals, hacks. You know what I mean? I mean, they're hip, they're stylish dressers, Kmart, I don't know where they shop. I remember the first time I saw them, Betty Ford Clinic, I, I was uh, just having a great time. It was a great time overall.